Nate Wealth is a 17-year-old YouTuber making $11,000 every single month, and he can tell you how to get infinite clients if you're a talented video editor, which I know you are. You may have noticed I'm not actually at home. I'm in Southern California visiting my mom, but I didn't want to leave you guys without a video. Let me know if it works making a video like this on the road. I've never done one of these kind of videos on the road before, so leave me a comment, will you? Let's start by showing how Nate starts his video. He does this. I'm a YouTuber making $11,000 every single month. There's a couple things going on. Number one, he starts zoomed in and then he zooms out. And number two, he has the text showing up behind him. So let's jump over here and animate me, start me zoomed in and have me zoom out. I'm just going to click on the clip, make sure my playhead is at the beginning of the sequence. And I'm going to hit the scale and position keyframes. Those are the two properties we're going to modify, scale and position. And over the course of, I don't know, a few frames, maybe 14 frames or so, I start to zoom out. So we're going to set another keyframe right here for scale and position. We go back to the beginning and I'm going to scale me up quite a bit. Put me on one side of the screen, kind of how he did it. Boy, that's terrifying. And now we're just going to add the text behind me starting around year old YouTuber making you. I said $11,000 per month right here. So I'm just going to cut it right here and duplicate it by holding on the option key on a Mac, the control key, sorry, the alt key on a PC, clicking and dragging upward. Now I have two copies of this. Now I want text to go behind me. So I'm going to click on this top layer of me, jump over to video, cut out. I'm going to select auto cut out on the bottom and I'm pretty well separated from the background so it should do a pretty okay job. To see if it worked, we're just going to turn off this track and yeah, it cut me out pretty well. So what we want to do is have text behind me. I want to put $11,000 behind me. So I'm going to click on text. I'm going to select default, drag it to the timeline, pull it all the way over so I can use it for as much as I want to. I'm going to double click on the text, type $11,000. Now let's choose a font that's a little bit more bold. How about this one? Sunday masthead it looks like. And Nate has a stroke around his font. So let's just scroll down and choose stroke. And his was pretty thick. So let's drag the thickness up a little bit like that. And we want it to come from behind my head. So let's go ahead and position it right where we want it to start. I'm going to just click off of it so I can now click on it and drag it. And I want it to start probably right here so it appears behind my head over there. Is that where I pointed? Yeah, that's where I pointed. So that works. So the text is over my head. We want it behind my head. So I'm just going to click and drag it underneath this track here. And now it's behind my head. And I want it to kind of kind of appear there as when I point there. So I'm going to just drag it over a little more this way so you can't see any of it. Now we just want to make the text go from behind my head to the right side of my head to do that. It's going to make sure that the text is positioned right where I want it to start, which is right here. Then I'm going to scroll down to position and set a keyframe. And then I'm going to move forward about, I don't know, maybe 14, 12, 14 frames or so. Now I'm going to position the text where I want it to end up. Right about there looks good. And I'm going to play it. Looks like this. $11,000 every single month. That looks pretty good, but there are two issues. Well, kind of three issues. Number one, it kind of dipped down a little bit. Let's fix that a little bit. Let's just look at the Y axis, which is the up and down. And if you look at the first keyframe, it's at 427. The second keyframe, it's at 412. So if I make this one 427, it'll be smoother. At least it'll be straight and not, it won't dip down. So let's see how that looks. $11,000. That's pretty good. Now it's a little bit stiff. I'm just going to right click on it, hit show keyframe animation. And the X axis is the one that's moving. So I'm going to double click on the X axis and position the playhead at that first keyframe and just add a little bit of an auto curve. So it's a little smoother. And that would look like this. $11,000. Looks a little bit better. I'm going to just hide the keyframe animation. And the next issue is the text appearing on the left side of my head. What I want to do is add a mask, but you'll see, ah, oh, there's no mask option. How do we add a mask? option, but we turn this into more of a video clip by right clicking on it and choosing create compound clip. Oh look, mask magically appeared. So I'm just going to click on rectangle and position the mask over the section where I want it to appear, which is right here. And now we have this. We're making $11,000 every single month. That's exactly what I want. Next, let's choose an animation for the text to leave the screen. So we're just going to click on animation, choose out. This is when it's leaving the screen. And let's try maybe shake slide. Month. Doesn't matter which one you use, but that one looks kind of cool. And we can make it a little longer if we want by dragging the slider over a little bit. A month. And boom, I think we're done with that. For Nate's video, you may have noticed that. I'm a YouTuber making $11,000 every- The text is kind of moving a little bit. For us to do that, all we have to do is jump over into effects and hey, look at this. We can search filters now. This is a new feature. We can search for effects. So I'm just going to type in rebound swing and rebound swing shows up. And that's the one that just 
just kind of moves it around. I'm just going to drag it on the text. And that's going to make it move around a little bit. And let's dollars see. every single month. It's kind of a lot. We'll just turn the size down a little bit and $1,000 every single month. And now the text is moving around. So that's perfect. And dude, I can't tell you how excited I am that I can now search for effects. <laughs> that's the one thing I think in my last video I even asked, I was like, dude, if I could have one thing, that's what I would want. So I'm excited that that's here. Now the next thing we want to do is create this other thing that we did in the open, which is this part right here. If you're a talented video editor. To create that, let's just add all of the elements and then animate them one at a time. I've created all of them. If you want to try to recreate what I'm doing here, you can download all of the elements for free and it's linked in the description below. First, we want to add a background. I found this background online. I gave them credit in the description below. If you end up using this exact same image, give them credit the same way I did. In fact, the way I gave them credit is the name of the file. So that's where you can find the actual text for the credit as well. It's going to scale it up make it the right size. Let's look at Nate's. His is a lot lighter. So we're just going to make it lighter and it has a little bit of a vignette around it. You can see it's a lighter in the, in the middle and dark around the edges. So we're just going to click on it, jump over to adjustment, click on basic and just take the shadow up quite a bit. And that makes it a lot brighter. So it's similar to Nate's. Now we also want to add a vignette. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this and just add a bit of a vignette. That looks like a great start. Next, we want to add an editor. Now I didn't have access to the editor photo that Nate used. So I had AI create one for me. And I also added Nate's logo for her face the way Nate does in his. Here's Nate's. Here's ours. I think ours is better looking, don't you? I know who you are. So I'm going to position this over here where I want her to kind of end up and position the playhead at the beginning of this section. And I'm going to set a keyframe for position. Move forward a few frames maybe about here and set another keyframe for position. Then I can go back to that first keyframe by hitting this left arrow and I'm going to drag her down off the screen and then this will look like that. So she's animated as much as I want her to be animated in this thing. Next, we want to add a light bulb the way Nate did and I couldn't find one online. So I just made one. I just filmed this light bulb against a green screen and we're going to just drag it down here to the timeline. I'm going to make it last the duration of this clip and you see that it starts off and then it goes on and we're going to position it kind of where Nate had his light bulb, which was, let's go have a, have a look, kind of right about there for Nate. And for us, we're going to maybe scale it down a little bit and position it over here. And that's probably pretty good right there. And the thing's already animated. It looks like this. Well, let's click off of that so the white box goes away. And it looks like this. Looks pretty good, right? Next, we're going to add the words video editor. I created this in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can either use mine or create something like this in Photopia. We're going to scale it down about like that, position it where we kind of want it to end up. And you'll notice that for Nate's, he had the words kind of pop up and back a little bit like this. And if you ever want to see exactly how somebody does something, you want to download their video and then just go one frame at a time. So we're just going to back it at the beginning of that. And I can see like, let's see, one, two, three, then it pops up, four, five, six, and it pops back down. So over the course of six frames, start small, pops a little big, and then it goes down again. So we're just going to position the playhead here. I'm going to Start about like that. Set keyframes for position and scale. Go forward three frames. Set another keyframe for position and scale because it did a quick pop up. It stayed in place for a second. So since I set two keyframes like this next to each other, nothing's going to happen between them. Then it's just going to pop up. It'll go pop up, boop. For the course of maybe a frame or two, let's just go ahead and scale it up a little bit, boop and then have it go down over the course of a couple of frames and just scale it back down a little bit. And it'll look like this. Ah, that was too, and like you watch it and see if it's what you want. It was a little bit too, too, too smooth. His was more abrupt. And to make it more abrupt and everything move faster, we can just move these keyframes closer together by clicking and dragging them closer together. And it'll feel like more of a pop-up like this. And I still didn't love that. I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger and a little more abrupt. That's fine. You can do your own thing. It doesn't have to be exactly what they did. That works fine for me. Next, we're going to add this arrow. I'm just going to pop it on top of here. And I think he had the arrow come on after the video editor. Let's see. Video editor. Yeah. Video editor. As soon as video editor lands, we have the arrow pop on. And the arrow does something similar. It just kind of scales up and down a little bit. So we'll do the same thing. So right after video editor lands. And now we have this. 
So that looks pretty great so far. Now we want to manipulate all of this stuff together. To do that, we highlight all of them, right click and choose Create Compound Clip. So let's position the playhead at the beginning, set a keyframe for position and scale, move forward about 14 frames or so, kind of like Nate did. And we can verify that just by looking here and counting frames. If we counted them from about the time we saw the light bulb until his editor landed, that's about 14 frames. So we're gonna do the same thing and go about right here. I'm gonna set another keyframe for position and scale, and then I'm gonna go back to that first keyframe and position this light bulb where I want it to appear in the beginning, which is much bigger and kind of at the top of the scene here. And now this whole animation looks like this. Not bad. Now let's put it where it needs to go. So let's go ahead and watch it real quick. Nate Welt is a 17 year old YouTuber making $11,000 every single month. And he can tell you how to get infinite clients and so infinite clients so around here's we're talking about this editing thing so probably around here maybe let's see if that works how to get infinite clients if you're a talented video editor let's drag it back a little more I can tell you how to get infinite clients if you're a talented video editor which and i cut it off a little bit here so i'm going to drag that out which i know you are which i know you are bam now I'm just going to add a little bit of music and sound effects. You don't have to watch. So I've added music, sound effects, and a little transition, but I noticed we're missing one thing. Nate's final graphic was moving. The whole thing was moving together. How do I make that all move? You already know, right? Let's just jump into effects and type in rebound again. Hit enter and grab rebound swing and drop it on this entire composition. Now that whole thing's going to move, I'm going to turn the size down a little bit and the speed down a little bit. And now we can watch our finished masterpiece. Nate Wealth is a 17-year-old YouTuber making $11,000 every single month and he can tell you how to get infinite clients if you're a talented video editor, which I know you are. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? And I did all this in a hotel room. Let me know in the comments if this worked, if I should make these when I'm traveling in the future. The reason you're not a 17-year-old YouTuber making $11,000 per month is because you're not 17, unless, unless you actually are, and because you don't know how to edit very well yet. You're not that super talented editor, just quite yet, but you're, but you're close. The fastest path to becoming that talented video editor is taking my course, Master CapCut, where you can learn everything CapCut does so you can make videos in any style you like, even if you like doing them like Nate Wealth. Just click right here or go to mastercapcut.com. There is zero risk. If you don't like the course for any reason at all, just tell me and I'll immediately give you all of your money back. And it's actually kind of embarrassing how inexpensive it is.